On today's Retro Spot, we're having a look at the Kenner Swamp Thing Snare Arm Swamp Thing figure. Figure has a wine, a vine, winch arm, and monster trap. Now, even though this isn't the original figure that Spot had as a kid, Spot did originally have this figure many moons ago when Swamp Thing was, I guess, in the height of its popularity. Not so much from the movie, I would say, because the movies were not something that I was able to watch, but I did watch the Swamp Thing cartoon growing up, which is basically what these figures are, uh, are based on. A nice picture up at the top there of Swamp Thing with its snare arm, which we'll get into when the package gets opened up. Also a picture of Swamp Thing on the top corner. This is actually a pretty good toy line, all things considered. They had uh, several villains, several different, uh, you know, team members that helped out Swamp Thing. Certainly nice vehicles as well. It was a pretty good line, as you can see right here. Obviously being that Swamp Thing is the main character, you also got several different Swamp Things. Several different Swamp Things such as, well first of all the read-up says, Snare Arm Swamp Thing with Vine Winch uh, uh, Arm and Monster Trap. Snare Arm Swamp Thing captures the unmen monsters with its Vine Winch Arm, which seems to be a, a tongue tongue twister, squeezes knees and the the winch reels them in. The trap clamps closed on villain's legs. Of the heroes you can get, there's Bayou Jack, right there. There is Tomahawk. Of the different varieties of Swamp Thing, Snare Arm, there's Camouflage, Bio Glow, Snap Up Swamp Thing, which looks like he's in several different pieces. And then of the Unmen, there's Anton Arcane, Dr. Demo, Weed Killer, Skin Man. And then the vehicles, the Big Rover, and the Marsh Buggy. If anybody was wondering how old these are, are these 1990. 1990 figures. I can't wait to relive my childhood. I'm going to get this opened up. And certainly when we come back, we're going to get a better look at Snare Arm Swamp Thing. Stay tuned, there's more to come. What's so funny about this particular figure is having a figure like this that I did have when I was a kid. You always picture, when you, when you look back on these toys that you had as a kid, you always picture them a lot larger what, than what they actually end up being. I could swear to you, when I had this figure as a kid, uh, this Swamp Thing must have been, oh, I don't know, like two feet tall. It was extremely tall. Obviously now that I have it in hand, obviously my hands are a little larger than I did th than they were when I was younger, uh, but the Swamp Thing seems so much smaller than what he was before. We zoom into his face. I like the sculpt on the face of Swamp Thing. It's very simplified, kind of cute, which I guess is not really what they were intending. He's a cute little guy. You can see that there's all this vine work all over his body. Red eyes, which is a common staple for Swamp Thing as well. Um, I also really like the fact that he's got a dark green and a light green kind of blend. It almost looks like it's glowing on camera, at least looking through the camera for me while I'm shooting this review, it looks like it's glowing. He's got this dark green on his legs and his arms, but then he's also got this nice light, uh, almost neon green uh, on, the, on the ends of his arms as well as the front of his face chest area. Swamp Thing's articulation being that his head is sculpted in with the upper torso, you're not going to be able to move his head at all. You, however, do have your standard variety articulation. He has swivel in the arms, swiveled arm, and swiveled legs. Technically, normally, it would have been five points of articulation, but Swamp Thing is unfortunately relegated to four, just with the arms and the legs. You also notice this arm here, this hand is a little loose. Uh, that's because this is where his vine winch arm comes from. You just pull it out, and uh, that's as far as it goes. So you can see it goes quite a bit of distance. You can wrap it around something, and then when you're done, you just squeeze the legs, very similar to a superpowers, squeeze the legs, and it brings the, the hand back in. I like the fact that even though it is a gimmick hand, his hand is still open. So if you want to have him holding a weapon, you can certainly do that. I don't really know what weapons you'd want to give Swamp Thing. Maybe a bread knife or a you know, chainsaw. I don't know. 
painting horrible pictures of Swamp Thing. He would never do that. He's more fun-loving. He would let the he basically let the vines and other things kill the unmen. But there you have Swamp Thing. Now he does also come with a trap. I'll just put Swamp Thing down here for a second. He doesn't stand very well, unfortunately. Stay. He does also come with this trap. Which if you really wanted to, if you want to reuse your figures, accessories, you could kind of put this also with Poison Ivy, which would work just as well. Some nice texture. Ah, there goes Swamp Thing. I'm sorry. It was bound to happen. It does also come with his trap. I like the texture work that's on the actual trap. You can see that it's a skull kind of shape. All this nice texture work up the top there. The idea is there's a little lever. You can really open it like this too if you wanted to, but there's a little lever on the back. You press it and uh, it opens up the trap. You see that there's a tongue on the trap there. I don't know what Unmen is going to be stupid enough to stand on this. It, it clearly looks like a trap. Akbar would be like, it's a trap! But you would have the Unmen step on it, and when you step on it, it would close that trap up on their leg. So it's a nice little gimmick, a nice little side accessory. I wouldn't say it's so much a gimmick, but it's a nice side accessory for Swamp Thing. And it's plant related, so it makes sense. It makes perfect sense. So there you go. Overall, I just it, I know I love I mean I love shooting these reviews for you guys. I mean it's it's just a lot of the especially these retro reviews, these retro spots, it gives me a chance to look at some of the toy lines that I grew up with as a kid. And uh, I always hope that when I shoot these reviews, it's something that you guys had grown up with, or maybe along the way you guys can comment down below. Hey, I grew up what I grew up with that. I had that toy when I was a kid. Uh, it's always neat to kind of go back and look at things, this nostalgic uh, toy lines that we had when we were younger. This one especially is is very true to my heart because it, again, this is one I really remember buying. I I still remember going to the store and buying this figure. I think I bought it at Byway, of all places, if anyone remembers Byway back in the day. But uh, I'm really, really happy that I was able to get a, a second chance to get this guy once again. And uh, again, reviewing it for you guys was definitely an added bonus. In the way of a rating, though, I mean, it's really hard, again, to rate a retro toy. I mean, if you compare this, obviously, to the San Diego Comic-Con DC Universe Swamp thing, there's obviously no comparisons. But from a retro end of it, I don't know. I think I'm going to give Snare Arm Swamp Thing, I'm going to give it a 7.5. It's got a really neat gimmick. You know, you can also pretend he's got like a bit of a whip. And uh, I also really like the coloring on him. If you want just a basic Swamp Thing, doesn't really have a whole lot going on with him. And he's, he's pretty true to the cartoon. I'd probably say this is the good Swamp Thing to go with. Today's retro spot, we're having a look at the Kenner Swamp Thing figures. Today we're having a look at Snare Arm Swamp Thing. Thanks for watching, guys. Stick around. Certainly there are more retro spots to come. And I will see you guys next time.